If someone gave this to me on a date, I'd be thrilled. Then I just have to date myself. Hi, I'm Rosie McKean, AKA the Pasta Queen. And we are making a crab, leek, and induya linguine at the Cato Kitchen. Today we are cooking a delicious linguine. Um, I love linguine, it's my favorite pasta. I've said this time and again, it's got great slippery slurpiness to it. So that's why I love it. Um, and I'm pairing that today with one leek. Now a leek I think is a slept on uh, vegetable. Why are we not losing these delicious things more? They're so good. And a leek paired with some induya. Now that's something special. It's essentially a sausage, a cured sausage, but it's incredibly spicy, incredibly smoky. And the sort of defining uh, characteristic of induya is that it is like spreadable and meltable. It is not a slicey type salami. It is really, really interesting, super fatty, of course. Um, and it's just absolutely delicious on pasta. I like to counteract the spiciness with a bit of cream. So I'm putting some cream in this today. And then to kind of elevate this uh, dish, we're adding some crab. Crab is probably my number one shellfish. I love crab. And you know what's nice about crab if you're cooking at home? You don't have to do anything. You can just buy it. It's already done for you. And we're gonna pop that in right at the end and stir that through and that sweet crab and the spicy, creamy, oh my God, this is an exceptional dish. Now, when you're making a seafood pasta, uh, it's always important to have a little bit of acid in there. So I have got a splash of white wine, which I'm gonna drop in, um, and some fresh parsley, just to lift it at the end. I love using parsley, it's probably my favorite. So, probably time to crack on. I'm gonna slice up my leek. So, I just need one here, I'm just doing enough for two. I'm just going to finely slice it. And, you know, with a leek, I feel like you forgo the need for garlic, you forgo the need for another onion. It's just a, a one-stop shop allium, actually. And one that we should all be using a lot more. When is my leek partnership happening? That's what I want to know. Those guys need to get in contact. Is it Wales? They're from Wales, yeah. I've taken off, you should have seen this leak before, it was like this long. <laughs> I've taken off a lot. Um, but that bit of green there, that's fine, that's delicious, that's got loads of flavor. And we're gonna sweat it in some olive oil now. And, oh, that's really hot pan. We'll just take that off. So a bit of oil, just to sweat my leeks down in. And, this is one of those really great pasta dishes that happens really quickly. So, I'm gonna crack on. I'm gonna season my leeks. That'll help release the moisture. And I'm seasoning my pasta water really well. You wanna taste it? Needs more. It should be like a soup. You should be able to, to to sort of know that that's how you would like a soup season. Mm, perfect. Okay. So, I'm gonna do that much. Oh, this is a lovely wide pan. So it's all just gone right down into the bottom. I really like this pan. Wow, who, who thought of this? Okay, so, just make sure you move your pasta around in the water a bit. You do not need to put oil in your pasta water. Whoever told you that was trying to sell olive oil. I don't know what they were doing, but it's a waste. It just needs to be moved as it cooks. It's not gonna stick. You just need to look after it. Okay, so this, my leeks have softened up nicely, got a little bit of color on there. So now, it's time for some induya couple of big spoonfuls. As I said, spoonable. If you haven't had an Induya toasty before, I highly recommend you try one. That is something special. So I'm just stirring it in, letting it melt down. You can see that beautiful color. 
And then we're gonna add our wine and our cream. Really easy, really hands off. Just love it. You don't even have to add the crab either. Like, quite happily eat this without crab. But, feeling special today. I tend not to use packet instructions uh, simply because I just like to taste my own pasta. I just, I just check it. I just take some out of the pan and I eat it. And I think a lot of people, uh, when they cook, they don't trust their own instincts. Taste it and decide for yourself. If you're happy with the cook, then it's ready to go. What I would say is, uh, you know, a key philosophy of pasta cookery is that you should probably pull it from the water at least a minute or minute, two minutes before it's completely done to your liking because the best thing to do is to finish it in the sauce. Let it cook in that sauce. It absorbs all of that delicious flavor that you've created and it will become a more unified dish. That is the point of doing that. So, wine. Oh my God, it smells so good. So we've got this like incredible, it's like a quick ragu. That was like three steps and done. You've got leek, you've got meat. With that delicious wine. That wine's just going to reduce down for a second, and then I'm going to add my cream. I'm going to chop some parsley whilst I've got a minute. Parsley, great with uh, shellfish, great with literally anything. You know, I love it. I'm just obsessed with it. Okay, so I'm going to have a look at my pasta. This has got a way off. You know that that's got a way off because it's not really bending properly. And you can see that there's still a white center. Yeah, we've got, we got time. So you could definitely cook this with other pastas. You don't have to stick to linguine. For this, I think a long pasta is great. For a wine-based sauce, dried pasta is particularly good because it has a lot more starch than your fresh egg pasta. So it's better at absorbing that wine. Egg pasta is not one that uh, is typically good for like an absorption process method. You just finish it in the sauce at the end and that's it. Whereas your starchy dried pastas can take on that sauce much better. Um, so yeah, so if you could, you know, swap in spaghetti, tagliatelle. Um, I love bucatini. Oh my God, that stuff is great. That's the one with a big hole in the middle. Anything you like. Okay, now I'm gonna add my cream. And this is just so sexy. Yum, yum. You don't have to put cream in. You could put tomatoes in. You could sub the cream for tomatoes. Um, but I definitely feel like I like using cream. Mascarpone would be another good substitute here. That's great and delicious. So once my sauce has kind of come together like this, this is when I start to like adding some of this water. This pasta water is your best friend when you're making pasta. You cannot underestimate the importance of pasta water. It's containing now all of that starch that's coming off that pasta and um, it is going to thicken up this sauce, make it glossy, make it rich. When we toss it all together, the starch and the fat, everything emulsifies, it becomes just a glorious, a glorious mess. So you must always cook pasta with these two things, or if you're not using a long pasta, you can use something else, but a ladle is key. And I don't use a colander. So I'm just waiting for this to come back up to the boil and then I'm gonna put my crab in to heat through. I think it's important to remember that you, when you buy crab, it's already cooked. So you do need to get it hot, that's a nice and safe temperature, but you do not need to cook it for very long, otherwise it's just gonna break down and become powdery. I'm just using white crab meat today. Brown crab meat is great too. I just, I just a bit of a fussy one and I like my white crab meat. Okay. So I'm just gonna pop this in. And I think crab is so good here. Crab and pork are like really well matched because they're both, you know, slightly sweet, but we've also got the spice here from that anduja. Oh, so good. I think we are ready. Mm-hmm. 
So don't drain your pasta, just put it straight in. And that way you get, you know, a really easy addition of pasta water without even having to try. It's just all coming with you with the pasta. And what we're gonna do, is gonna toss this to combine and let it cook. That's the sound, the good sound. Oh my God, it's amazing. Okay, so I can see it's a tiny bit tight, so I'm just gonna add a little splash of pasta water there. I'm gonna add my parsley. Parsley should go in and be part of the dish. It's not a topping, it's an element. It's part of the sauce. Making a mess but loving every minute. And that's also another reason why salting your pasta water is so important because that is your seasoning for your sauce. If you don't season your pasta water, then your sauce won't have any seasoning. Right, this has tightened up so nicely. We've got just enough sauce at the bottom there. That pasta and that andouille and crab mix have been cooking together and they're all best friends now so I'm ready to plate. I tend to find that plating on camera is quite tricky. We're gonna give it our best shot. All of that amazing sauce. So, so good. Let's do one more big helping because this is for someone very hungry. Oh, see, it always happens, it always happens to me. If you've got some yummy bits of crab at the bottom of your pan, just get them in, get them on your plate. How delicious is this? And that is it, crab, leek, and do your linguine. Ugh, and do you want a bit of that? I do, it looks amazing. Oh, linguine, my fave. Mm. You've got to make that. <laughs>